All right, we have a breaking update for you on Hurricane Milton. It just strengthened to a Category 4 storm along Florida's Gulf Coast. That means it could bring with it catastrophic damage, according to the Weather Service. If it hits at this strength, the area it comes in contact with may be uninhabitable for weeks. And of course, this is happening after the wrath of Hel Helene less than two weeks ago. Hurricane Milton expected to make landfall Wednesday, Tampa Airport already suspending flights starting tomorrow morning. And this morning, Florida Governor Ron DeSantis said emergency services are actually trying to ramp up as they complete cleanup efforts from Helene. He says that's critical before Milton arrives. We had a lot of debris left from Hurricane Helene on Florida's Gulf Coast. Uh, that creates a huge hazard uh, if you have a major hurricane hit in that area uh, this week. CBS News correspondent Christian Benavidez joins us from Tampa, Florida. Pressure mounting, Chris, to speed up the clean effort after Helene. But how is that possible since folks are already doing as much as they can? Errol, it is just so absolutely challenging, and I want to give you a sense of how folks here in the Tampa Bay area are preparing. We're in St. Petersburg, and take a look at the line. Uh, we've got folks here that are waiting to pick up sandbags. I spoke to one man who said that he was in line for about two hours before getting to this point where he was able to actually grab some sandbags. He's in a Zone A evacuation zone, and they're already being told that they're likely to be evacuated. And in fact, the evacuations here could reach up to zone C. At this point, uh, people are just sort of preparing for what could potentially happen. Keep this in mind that the Tampa Bay area has not had a major hurricane make a direct landfall since 1921. That's over 100 years ago, so it's truly something that would be untested for this area. Just around the corner for, from here, about 10 minutes away, uh, we were in a neighborhood that was just, uh, that had about six feet of storm surge. 80% of the homes there uh, were flooded, and people's belongings are just out on the street. There is so much concern of course, about that debris as well, the potential for that debris to go flying and for it to clog up the storm drains as this, as Hurricane Milton is uh, barreling this way. Christian, I'm hopeful that viewers there are heeding your advice and the advice from officials um, to get to a safe place, but we don't want to uh, frighten people, but this is a serious storm on the way. Christian Benavides, thanks so much. You and the crew stay safe. We now want to bring in CBS News Philadelphia meteorologist Grant Gilmore with the first look um, at the national weather forecast. This is serious, Grant. Errol, I'll tell you what, you know, you talk about worst case scenarios and this is one of them. But when you talk about the fact that you had a another catastrophic hurricane just about a week and a half ago, it truly is a, a, a really tough situation to wrap your mind around. Uh, like uh, Christian was just talking about there, you've got a rapidly intensifying hurricane. It was a category one hurricane earlier on this morning. It's now a 150 mile per hour category four hurricane. It's still tracking to the southeast, but it will start that turn to the northeast as we go throughout the day today. And it's at that point that we're really going to have to watch it closely. It could become a Category 5 hurricane. However, the damage will already be done in terms of the surge. Even though we're looking at it potentially weakening as it approaches the west coast of Florida as we go through Wednesday into Thursday, all of that water that's going to be pushed out ahead of it that produces that significant surge concern for the Tampa Bay area will already be going in that direction, even though the wind speeds will be weakening, which, yes, is a silver lining, but certainly the surge threat is the most immediate threat along the coast. Tropical storm force winds are expected to begin to arrive along the Florida Gulf Coast sometime through mid-morning tomorrow, and then everything needs to be really battened down tightly because that's when the winds will begin to get so strong that they can't do anything else to prepare. Surge, as I mentioned, a significant concern, Errol, up to 12 feet in some places. We don't have it pinned down exactly where that center of the storm is going to track, but still, Everybody across the Gulf Coast of Florida needs to watch this storm very carefully. Back to you. Yeah, keep uh, their eyes and ears open and listen to these reports. Grant, thank you very much. We'll see you again soon.